I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends. As we noticed uh, until now, people did not notice that we are coming in the Arabian Prophet. And actually some people, they say, uh, why Christian Prince is not in the big channel? In fact, this is the big channel, not that one. That is the small one. Uh, but And I don't know why even people, they don't have the good communication. As you see, each time we go live on air, we have a banner in the screen. Show on your patreon.com slash Christian Prince, which means if you are ever confused about how to find me, where to find me, it's very simple. Just, just go to Patreon. You do not need to log in. You do not need to make a donation. You do not need even to make a, uh, a name. My videos are open for everybody. You will see my account right away. Why people don't want to use their brain? I have no idea. So we have 90,000 there. I, I check here, we have way more actually in this channel. And nobody want to use his brain to find out where is the really Christian Prince. So what if he disappeared in one channel? That's it. You guys cannot find me. Amazing. Today our topic is about Abdul. You know him. And this Abdul, he become a, a treasure for us actually. In order to expose us now. Actually, he, you know, he inspire us with good topics. And today we have a good topic for you. You know, the Abduls, they claim that uh, this guy, he don't debate online and he want to debate me only face to face. But as you see here, they brought one Christians and there's like seven or eight Muslims and they are making mockery of this Christian. And actually he got them busted many times. Even this is a video, not the whole debate. We do not know what the debate is. But here, uh, Sheikh Uthman, the ketchup boy, he asked uh, our friend, his name is Qais, and this is the one in the, you see in the middle. Uh, the, the, the bold uh, person, uh, they, how, he asked him a question, and the question is very serious. And I hope people will learn how to get the Mohammedan busted with no mercy. They are, they do mockery on you. You will see how they are doing mockery. And if you are a Christian, and you are going to debate Muslims, you have to be ready for their mockery. And the only language those people they understand is a mockery too. But let us see you, let us show you how to do mockery but not by being rude, but by them, by them getting busted. This is Ketcha Boy, Uthman. Have a question. Can I ask you a real quick question just so I can get your back? Are you Christian? Yes. Okay. Do you keep the Sabbath? No. <laughs> oh, you're not a you Christian. Christian mate? Hey. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold, hold on. You see how rude they are right away. Ha 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 
Oh boy. And 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 this Abdul from Pakistan down there or India, he gets so excited. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Do you give the Sabbath? No. Ha 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 Sheikh Uthman. How come your stupid Quran says that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for not obeying the Sabbath? But he did not make you pig and monkey for not obeying the Sabbath. In the same time, isn't it the Quran says that this is what Allah He ordered the Jews, not the Christians? So this those people, you know, they are making mockery of their own God. Because the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, make it clear that the Sabbath was an order for the Jews only. Actually, I have a surprise for those idiots. In this video here, he will say to him, so uh, Paul, he said, he called for him what Paul said. So he said to him, you follow Paul over Jesus? In fact, Jesus, he is the one who said, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So you are an idiot and obviously you do not know our Bible. In the same time, if we go right now, uh, who is the one who ordered the Sabbath? According to Muhammad and Allah. He ordered it to, to the Jews specifically to the Jews. So why you are asking, you are making fun of this guy for not following the Sabbath when your God, Allah, he agree that the Sabbath was made only for the Jews. I will tell you why, because the whole idea of Muhammad in speaking is to make a mockery. This is the study Quran, and actually here we will show, we will show you a very uh, clear introduction, uh, contradiction in the Quran. Uh, in chapter 2 verse number 56 speaking about Moses giving his people orders and he made a covenant with the children of Israel as you see it here so the Muhammadan they knew that this is supposedly a covenant only for the Jews so why a low class trashy person the ketchup boy he is making mockery of a Christian for not following Sabbath when his Quran make it clear that this is an order was given only to the Jews. Any Muslim have an answer? By the way, my Skype is open. And as you see this potato, he go live on air and he speak to Christians, but he don't speak a Christian uh, unless he is sure that he can make mockery of them. He will never dare to give me his Skype to call him. Uh, so, why the Muhammadan, they ask such a question. Why you Christian don't follow the Sabbath when you idiot, you know, that the Quran confirmed that this was an order only for the Jews. This is chapter 2, verse number 63. Actually, we have many chapters confirmed that, confirmed that too. But this is the Muslim translation. And this is the stupid Quran. Peace be upon him. And this is, it says it clearly, that Allah, he ordered the Jews. And this was an order given for Moses. And you can read all the interpretation. Moses, he ordered them, Allah ordered me, etc., as you see. Mockery, stupidity, will help us to expose the false prophet Muhammad. In the same time, if we go to the hadith, I have a surprise for this choppy boy. It says here, that Allah, he deceived the Christians and the Jews and he made them follow Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so when a donkey like you ask the Christians why you don't follow the Sabbath, I will show you the hadith, give me a second. And here actually you see that Muhammad in this hadith in front of us, Muhammad he used to appreciate uh, the Sabbath, when he was living with the Jews, he's trying to be a Jew. So he starts fasting in, Sat in Sabbath. <laughs> so why Muhammad did not fast in, in uh, Friday? You know, uh, the first actually fast Muhammad did, it was the Sabbath, which it was Ashura. He met a Jew, he asked the Jew, what is this day? He said, this is the day of Ashura. And we are fasting. So Muhammad started fasting, and he said, if you fast this day, 
it's going to delete all your sin for the past and the year to come. One year to pass and one year to come. But look what the stupid Muhammad, he said. And this is exposed his lies about being, being a prophet. Because we just showed you that Allah, he ordered the Jews to follow Sabbath. But look what he said in this hadith. We are guided aright to Friday as a day for a prayer and meditation. This is the Muslim insert. This is not in the hadith. But Allah, and here you see the translation actually. This is false translation. But Allah deceived the Christians and the Jews. So he made the Saturday for the Jews. And he made the Sunday for the Christians. So your stupid God is the one who made Sunday for us. So next time, if any Muslim ask you, why you Christian don't keep the Sabbath? You have the verses we just showed you from the Quran. And the better actually to start and hit him right away in the head, not physically for sure, by saying, well, your stupid God, he deceived us. And he is the one who made us deceived and follow Sunday. And actually he deceived even the, the Jews and he made them follow Saturday. As you see, the day Allah he wants is a Friday. So how in the world Allah he ordered the Jews to become pigs and monkeys for disobeying the Sabbath when this is nothing but a deception from Allah? <laughs> and this is the hadith of Sahih. But for Sheikh Uthman, he will say to you, this is not Sahih. This is not uh, accepted. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not true. Uh, okay, so this is Sahih Muslim. This is not Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. It's not true. Uh, okay, what about this? This hadith too. Uh, this is not Sahih. This is, uh, you know, what, the, what a donkey. You become, uh, Mr. Mr. Muhammad is the Messiah. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, how many of you did save the reference? How many of you did save the reference? If you are watching the video in different channel one day, the easiest way to find reference is not by the numbers, actually. If you see the hadith on the screen by number, just search for the number. But you can just type exactly the same words, you know, in, the, in, the, in Google, peace be upon him, and you will find the reference. Very simple. So as you see, Allah, he sent astray from Friday those who come before us. Astray here is a translation of what? Adalla. Adalla means he deceived. Adalla. Do you see it? So when an idiot, he says to you, why you Christian don't follow Saturday? Tell him, oh, you stupid God, he deceived us and he, he, he is the one who gave us Sunday. And he gave Saturday to the Jews, and it was a deception. Do you see how easy to spank them? But don't forget to wash your hands after spanking. Did we take a note? So what the answer will be if a Muslim, he says to us, why you don't follow Saturday from now on? You say to him, you idiot, potato. Allah, he deceived us from Friday. And he gave Saturday to the Jews and Sunday to the Christians. So why you are blaming us? He will say to you, what are you talking about? This is Paul. Paul, who deceived you? He said to him, open Sahih Muslim or Sunan in Nasai. And as you see, all is Sahih. This is all is a Sahih. You see? Sahih. And now Sheikh Uthman will say, this is not Sahih. This is fault. I agree. <laughs> so here you stupid Muhammad. How you say that Allah, he deceived them by making them follow Saturday to the Jews and make the Christian follow Sunday, and then you get upset for not following Saturday. If it was deception anyway, if this is not even your day. And you know, <clears throat> uh, Allah, he guide us for Friday. Is that true? Or this was a discussion between the Muslims and Muhammad, he decided to choose Friday. Any Muslim here? My Skype is open.
if you dare. Don't forget, yesterday we have a, a we can have quite a debate. It was a slaughter with the biggest sheikh from Senegal, the Mufti of Senegal, the genius of Senegal. And don't forget to watch it or even download it and share it in your, with your friends. Uh, Any question about the topic? You see how easy to, 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 if this guy is debating me, in two seconds he will start, you know, biting his tail. Any Abdul? Who dare? Who dare? If you have a shake, just give me your, his, his Skype, I will call him. Don't hesitate. So as you see, the reason the Christian follows Sunday, it was the order of Allah. He deceived us. And the reason the Jews they follow Saturday, it was the order of Allah. And he deceived them. And then if you ask the Muslims, if you go and read why, why Allah, he made them, guide them to Friday. Do you know what the Muhammadan they say? Because this is the day Allah, he finished his creation. But this is not the day he stopped working. And actually, you know, if you go in the Quran, just to show you how silly Muhammad is, this guy is just a, a, a you know, a talking machine of stupidity. Look at this. How many days Allah he used or needed to create the earth and the heaven? The Quran said six days. And this is all over the Quran, as you see. Chapter 7, verse number 54, chapter 10, verse number 3, uh, chapter 11, verse number 7, etc. So, uh, Allah, He created everything in six days, and then He went and He sat in the top of His chair. Chapter 7, verse number 54. Do you see it? It says seven day, six days. Do you see it? Six days. It's so clear. Now, in order to examine a person, ask him a question. If he give you an answer, match what he just said before, well, at least he is a smart. If he did not, that's mean he is a donkey. So look what Muhammad here he said. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said, that Allah, he created the world, and this is Sahih Muslim, and Sahih Muslim is confirmed to be accurate by Sheikh Uthman, peace be upon him, may Allah bless him, and give him all the testicles he need, because he don't have any. Allah, the exalted, the glorious, created the clay from Saturday, Saturday. okay? And he created the mountains in Sunday. All right. Created uh, uh, the trees uh, in Monday. Wonderful. And he created entire labor in Tuesday. Oh, and okay. And then he created the light in Wednesday. Do you remember the dad making fun of the Bible saying, hey, your God, he created the light in the sun in Wednesday? Ah, so what was happening? Here? <laughs> this donkey did that. He did not know what his prophet said. And this is what exactly is. All of those are bata potatoes, you know. They do not know their religion. That's why we get them busted so easy. So he created the light in Wednesday, and he caused the animals to spread in Thursday, and he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, the similarity between Adam and Jesus is, is Allah saying, be, and he was. But as you see, if you actually go and check how Allah created Adam, Adam was worried, and he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. And we mentioned that many times in the, in, the, in the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, where the Quran, where the Quran says, uh, this is how stupid this Quran is. 
chapter 7, verse number, uh, 17, verse number 11. So you go and read the Nika theory, you will see that Allah, when he was creating Adam, Adam, he said to him, finish me Allah before the sun set and he sneezed. Because Adam was worried that he will not be finished before the end of a Friday. So obviously Allah is so slow, the same as those Muhammad who try to debate us. But look what happened here. As long as Allah, he created everything in Saturday. Uh, sorry, I mean in six days. And then if we count the hadith here, if you count the days, you will find that there are seven days. Because what is the last day? It was a Friday. What is the first day of a creation? It was Saturday. So Muhammad again, he made a pupu. He said in the Quran, Allah created everything in six days. And then he went to the chair and he sat on it. That's when he's done. While the hadith says it clearly, it took him seven days. If you are slow in mathematics, let us count together. I'm not good in mathematics too, so don't be offended. You know, I used to get only nine, I used to get 110 from 100. I'm just joking. Actually, I, I use always not even, I don't even like to take the exam of mathematics, you know? Like uh, I fail because the, the teacher asked me, uh, a Christian prince, how one plus one plus one is equal to one? I said, sir, we don't believe in one plus one plus one. Only donkeys believe in that. So he kicked me out from the classroom. <laughs> so look at this here. Saturday is day number one. Count with me. Saturday is day number one. This is Saturday. Okay. And this is Sunday, day number two. Let me make it more thin so we can write easier. So this is Saturday, Sunday, and now we have Monday. So this is day number three. What kind of pin is this? All right. This is the three. And then he created entire labor, things labor, in Tuesday. This is four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. This is five. And then he created the animals and spread them in, in, uh, in Thursday. This is six. And then he created Adam Friday afternoon, which means the end of the day. This is seven. So how the stupid Muhammad, he says Allah created the earth and the heaven and what is between them in six days. And then Muhammad, he say this. You are finished, boy. Your boy Muhammad is finished. He broke his nuts. Ouch. So what we discover? We discovered that Saturday was order from Allah. And it was deception from Allah for the, for the Jews to follow Saturday. It was deception from Allah, not from Paul, as this Muhammad and he claimed, to follow Sunday. In the same time, if a Friday is the day Allah he rest, because this is what the hadith, what, what the interpretation is saying, Allah he did not work in Friday, <laughs> but he did. <laughs> the Muslim they say because Allah did not do any work in a Friday, this is why Allah he chose a Friday to be his day. But as you see, Allah he work in Friday. <laughs> You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have my reasons. You like it or not, it's true. And again, this is Sahih Muslim. They will say to you, this is naive. CP, it doesn't say that. CP, this is naive. Abdul, Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Who, who said that Sahih Muslim is true? Uh, who said that Sahih Muslim is true? Okay, give me a second. Let me show you who said that Sahih Muslim is true. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy. Oh. What you can do, what you can do. Bad boys, bad boys. This is your Sheikh, Sheikh Uthman. He is telling you what kind of book is considered Sahih. Play. Oh, there's no sound. What happened? 
maybe I did not record the sound. No problem, no problem, relax, relax, no problem. Here we go. We, well, we have we have the we have the video here. Relax, relax, no problem. Here we go. This is your the boy who said that Muhammad is the Messiah. He is following the Qaidani. You know, he is claiming to be a Muslim, but obviously he is from the Qaidani. Uh, Ulam Mirza. Uh, look what he said. or Kundul Amal. These are not original books of Hadith. You cannot academically use them as a reference. You have to go to the original book like Bukhari, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, Nisa'i. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Even at Tirmidhi, do you understand? <laughs> and, the, and the stupid is, is saying to him, you cannot follow Mishkat al Masabih. And so why Ibn Kathir, why you quote Ibn Kathir? What Ibn Kathir he quote from the author? From Al you know, Al Baghawi is the master of Ibn Kathir. What a stupid liar. So he's telling him now, you got us busted from this hadith. And then the Christian guy, he says to him, he did not, he, I like, I, I like he answer. He said, this is a lie because anyway, I'm quoting a hadith, which is sahih. Please? It's a lie. This is a lie. That's a lie? It's a lie. Yes, yeah, okay. a lie. So because you, the hadith is okay. sahih. Because the hadith is sahih. So who cares where it's coming from? As long as the hadith is considered sahih. So they could not refute him. So he said, you cannot quote from this. Who are you to say you cannot? And why the book is written if you cannot? And why you have it in your library if it's not valid? And why you must teach it? <laughs> so when he got them busted by a sahih hadith, he said, you cannot quote from there. Yeah. So now what we are quoting, we are quoting the books which Sheikh Uthman, he approved. As you see, this is Sahih Muslim. It cannot be better. As you see, did he did he mention a Turmudi? He mentioned a Turmudi. He mentioned an Nasai. He mentioned, you know, as you see. So what we will do now? You call this is Jamia or Turmudi? Huh? What we will do? Let us see the Hadith. Where? Okay. Let us see. Uh, the Prophet. Hmm. Let us go to the top. Okay. Here we go. This is, you, he said, you cannot quote Mishkat al And he said, this is not original book. Right? You cannot quote this, uh, you know. So if we find it, it says here, Rawahu Ahmed. And this potato, so, so what if it's Mishkat al -Masabih? It's still, you know, mentioned by the scholars before him. Rawahu Ahmed. Do you accept Ahmed? This is the potato who was quoting a notebook printed in 1998 claiming that this is Umar al-Khattab, the caliphate. He said to the Christian, relax, relax. Are you nervous? Relax. Let us read. Haddathana Abu Bakr. Haddathana Waqiyah. So he claimed that this is a hadith mentioned by uh, Abu Bakr, mentioned by Waqiyah, mentioned, mentioned, mentioned by Abu, Abu, uh, Umar al-Khattab. And he said to him, do you know who is Umar al-Khattab? <laughs> and then he jumped over the hadith and he read the note which is, doesn't say even what he is saying a note added to the book 1998 you coward so you can quote 1998 something written 1998 claiming that it is a hadith from Umar al-Khattab and he cannot quote Mishkat al -Masabih. but anyway as you see we get them busted this is it says here Sahih. They will say to you, it's not Sahih. We say, it says in your book, Sahih. It's a Sahih Muslim. It's not Sahih. Okay, so what do we do now? What kind of religion we are talking about? In this hadith here, uh, it says, 
the most day Allah Prophet he used to fast, it was Saturday. And then he said, the reason he is not going to use those days, he said, I, I want to change. I want to act differently. <laughs> they are the Eid of the Mushrikeen. And I love to act contrary to what they do. Do you see it? So not because Saturday is bad, but he want to act differently. And if you remember, there's a hadith where the dummy Muhammad, he got himself busted. He was praying over a crops. Over a dead man, a dead man. A Muslim man, he died, and he supposed he is the prophet, so they asked him to make a prayer, very normal. Okay. And then while he was praying, uh, a Jewish guy, a rabbi, he walked by, and he said to Muhammad, as you see, it says a learned Jew. A learned Jew. This is not just a Jew, this is a rabbi, you know? Actually, it says here, not only it says learned Jews, in Arabic it says Hebr, which means like a high-class Jew of, of, the learned, of the rabbis. So the message of Allah used to stand up for the funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew asked uh, to him and said, this is how we do it. The prophet, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. <laughs> and this is why Muhammad saying here in this hadith, I want to act differently. They pray, they pray, in, they, they pray in Saturday and Sunday. I want to act differently. Do you see it? I just want to, it's not because they are wrong. He wants to be establishing a new religion, and he don't want to look like he is copying from them. That's all. He's a fraud. And then how you say that this is the day of the polytheist? Was Musa a polytheist? Isn't it this stupid Quran says that Allah, he ordered Musa? Do you see the stupidity? I mean, this man is mentally ill. If we go to the stupid Quran, what we will read? All, wherever the word appear about the Saturday, it says it clearly that Allah is the one who gave him the order. As an example, chapter 4, verse number 154. And this was an order given to the people of Musa. So how Muhammad, he says, this is the, the day of the polytheist, and this is why I need to change, and this is the day was given to Musa. Read. The people of the book ask thee to cause the book to descend to them from heaven. Indeed, they ask Musa for more, even great or greater, uh, like greater signs or miracles. For they said, uh, show us Allah in public. This is what they ask him. But they were dazzed for their presumption with thunder and lightning. Yet they worshipped the calf, even after a clear sign had came to them. Even so, we forgave them. Why you forgive them? And gave Moses the manifest proofs of authority. Okay, what is the authority? Obey Saturday. So Saturday is not the day of polytheist, you coward. So do you see the stupidity? Do you see how we can get them busted? And my Skype is open, not even one Muslim there too. Even text me.
Any Mohammedan? Uh, this guy he's saying the only authority is the Quran. Well, if the only authority of the Quran, anything else is not accepted, can you tell me who is Muhammad? Just to show you the stupidity of those people. Guys, the only thing is accepted is the Quran. Okay, who is Muhammad? As long as this is the only authority you have, tell us who is Muhammad. Go ahead. Nothing in the Quran. The Quran says there's a guy, his name is Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Where he where he's from, where he's born, who is his father, who is his family, what he did, what he said. Nothing. You see how they lie? If you ask this guy now, who is the first wife of Muhammad? He will say Khadija. Look, you stupid idiot. You said you don't take anything, only the Quran. So why you are telling me Khadija? When Muhammad he died, they say to you in the Medina, oh, you stupid idiot, where in the Quran it says Medina? The Quran says you do muta. He, he will say to you right away, well, Allah, he forbid muta, uh, Allah Prophet, he forbid muta. So when they want, they accept the hadith. When they want, they don't. And then he says, anything that goes against the Quran is not accepted. Well, the hadith, as example, the muta is against the Quran. Quran says you do muta, hadith says don't do muta. So you see the coward, you see the liars, you see the fabricators. In the same time, the Quran says the sun set in murky water. So I, I, I will go with you now. Let's just show you your, your hypocrisy. Anything go against the Quran, you will not take it, right? Okay. The Quran says the sun set in murky water. So anything against the Quran, we will not take it. In a second, you will see how he regret what he just said. This is the Quran saying, the sun set in a muddy spring. We go to the Hadith. The Hadith agree. <laughs> but now what he will say, he said, I don't accept this Hadith. <laughs> So Abdul, do you accept this hadith? Remember, you are the one who said anything, anything against the Quran, you will not accept. The Quran says it clearly. He found it sitting in murky water. Muhammad he explained the verse. He says, I was, Abu Dhar, he reported, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger, and this is good for the security of Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar you know Muhammad. He will molest him. So I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, who was riding the donkey while the sun was setting, he asked, do you know where this sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslims are pagan, mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God with a man. His name is Muhammad. So Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it set in a spring of warm water. Now remember, you are the one who said, if the hadith is against the Quran, we don't accept it, but this is totally with the Quran. And as you see here, it says, Sahih in chain, everything is perfect. There's no complaint. Who's next? And you know, here we ask ourselves, anything goes against the Quran, we will not accept. So why is written in the book of the Hadith? Don't your scholars know that? Or this is today because you're ashamed of your stupid religion? Why the scholars of Islam, they will write something is against the Hadith, against the Quran. But don't you know that the Hadith is abrogating the Quran? There's a huge chapter in Islam teaching you about how Hadith abrogate the Quran. Okay, Mr. Sabatau, why you don't call me my friend? And I will be nice to you. And show me this is how, show me, it's a challenge for you, and a nicer challenge. Guys, do you think this guy, he can call me and he prove what he just said? I will listen to you. I will not even complain until you finish. You don't even need to stay on air if you want. Can you call me and prove to me that this is what the Quran is saying? Remember, you are the one who says, we don't take anything against uh, except the Quran. Where in the Quran it says, perspective, literally style. Can you show me? 
You are the one who said, we go by the Quran only. So in order to go to the world perspective, you have to go to somebody's interpretation. That's mean you are a hypocrite. And the interpretation is to fit with the world today. Do you see, guys, the hypocrisy? The Quran, nowhere he says, Allah, like the guy he thought, the sun set in murky water, and Allah is correcting him. Nowhere the Quran says that this is was what he thought or what his perspective. No, he says he found it. So why you are lying? Well, we lie because we need to cover up and duct tape the Quran. Where the Bible says the Trinity, why, why I want to show you from the Bible when I can show you from the Quran? Why you don't call me and I will show you from the Quran, the Trinity? Who there? I don't waste my Muslims speaking about the Bible when the Muslims, they will not listen anyway. I will get you busted from your Quran. Do you dare? Call me, Trinity. Anything you want. And people will laugh at you. And because you know that people will laugh at you, you don't dare to call. This is the whole secret. If I am different one, if I'm different person, you must then will be lined up to talk to me and to make mockery. And the reason making you stay there like a duck, or what you say in the chat is walk walk, is because I'm a Christian prince, and you know you will be defeated in the speed of light. See? Okay, uh, you see Shabbatu? You just got yourself busted, my friend. You just said, why you don't read the interpretation? Guys, did you see, did you see what he just said? I was expecting this. Hold on. I mean, you've been cooked even before. You did not even call me, but you got yourself busted. Look what he said. He said, why you don't read the interpretation of the scholars as you do in your religion? My friend, I am not the one who said I follow scholars in my religion. I did not say that. I didn't say I follow interpretation. And it's you who said we follow only the Quran. Any other book, we don't. And you are the one who says anything is a contradictory for the Quran or against the Quran statement. We don't accept it. So the Quran says he found it sitting in the murky water. Where how the interpretation says that this is how he thought. He, the word thought is not there. So look what you did. You don't follow Quran no more. Because the Quran is clear. He found it set on a spring of a murky water. You ask Zach and Naik, do the sunset. Zach and Naik, he has tons of videos about it. He says, Brother Titar, the better the Adkim Quatin. The sun set in murky water, and the scientific level is taking. Brother, let me answer you. Please, brother. Please, let me continue, brother. Brother, uh, please, I heard you are you requesting, brother. Okay. Uh, brother, okay, let me talk, brother. Okay, brother. So, uh, brother, okay, let me talk, brother. Okay. So, brother, let him, let him carefully. The Quran says it made him think in his perspective. That the sun set in murky water. This is what the Quran is saying. Where it says that? This is your translation. I can change any translation you want. And for me, I do not need translation. I speak Arabic better than your God. So, what the, 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 where it says a perspective? Can't Allah add the word perspective? So look what you Muslims you do. In one hand you say we don't want to follow anything except the Quran. In the other hand you say let us go follow Zakir and Naik. In one hand it says, it's clear, it says perspective. We ask you where? Where? Why you lie? Imagine there is a debate between me and Zakir Naik. People will die laughing. It's going to be the best comedy ever in the history. I don't know how many people will have a heart attack from laughing. Who's a Muslim can refute this? So Allah, he made us go for Sunday. 
Allah made the Jews. Those who will download the video later, you can cut the part about Saturday, get Uthman busted, make it short, and post it by itself. Like, name it, how to answer, let's just say, how to answer the question, why you Christian don't follow Saturday, or something shorter. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we will take call from non-Muslims. Tomorrow is a Friday, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know even what the, what is the what what is the calendar is to be honest with you. <laughs> all all days are the same for me. Things is messed up with my calendar like Allah. Allah He says six days, you know, and then we find there are seven days, and in the Quran it says eight days in different verses. Uh, how come your Jesus said? is less than the father how, how come you see how stupid you are he just told you he is the father are you stupid or what who is war, who is more in the authority the son or the father i mean look how silly they are jesus he keep calling him the father you asking you asking how come jesus less than the father <laughs> so why he call him the father if he is you know he will uh, you know if, if i am if i sit with my father what i would say to him hey abdul I will respect him. I call him father. Why? Because he's my father. You are stupid, silly. Stop drinking camel urine. The second he call him father, that means the son is obedience to the father. This is why the Messiah said, "Let your will be done." Silly Muhammadan. They tried. They try hard. And now, as long we are going there. Let us ask you a very simple question. Fit with your question. How come Allah, He created everything for the sake of Muhammad? If Allah is higher than Muhammad, then that will not make sense. Because Muhammad should do things for Allah, not Allah do things for Muhammad. According to your silly resource, it says, if not Muhammad, Allah will not create the universe. And this is your resource. And this is your Islamic translation. And this is your Islamic website. And this is sunnah.org. So this is sunnah website. You cannot complain. You can't say Shia. So who is the one who serve who? Do God serve Muhammad or Muhammad serve God in Islam? Allah himself exists for one reason, entertainment for Muhammad, and the proof in front of you. Why Allah even he created a chair to write the name of Muhammad in it? The first one who made a graffiti in the world, it was Allah. Allah is so excited. What I will do now? I do the chair. Okay, let us write the name of Muhammad, okay? And he starts writing the name of Muhammad over his chair. So if we look at the chair of Allah, Muhammad's name is everywhere. Is that an act of a god or an act of a kid, six years old girl waiting for her daddy? He's in the army. They told her daddy is coming. She starts drawing her daddy in the wall. Huh? A god, he write the name of Muhammad everywhere before he created even Adam? Graffiti god. How much Allah was excited because there is Muhammad is coming. And look, I mean, the stories go even wide open like a pig giving a birth. And uh, it says here, uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, Adam made a mistake, you idiot. How you do mistake, Adam? Shame on you. How many times I told you not to do mistake? And actually, if we check, we will find that Adam did not make a mistake. It was Allah who deceived him. <laughs> Allah, he wrote, he wrote his fate 50,000 year, 50, years before he created him. <laughs> uh, or 40 years. 40, 40, uh, 50 years, yeah. 50, eh, let it go. Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, ask, oh Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said to Adam, Oh Adam, what the heck? 
what 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 you just said put yourself in the shoes of Allah Muhammad is not even created yet and now Adam made a mistake now he's asking Allah for forgiveness so look what Adam he did he knew he knew the weak spot of Allah he's holding him from his hand which is hurt so Adam said to Allah okay Allah for the sake of Muhammad forgive me okay Allah look at him he says oh Adam how do you know recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him hmm? Adam I was smart out smart Allah because Allah is so slow I mean is it this is the God is all-knowing why you do not know how Adam find out look what Adam said to him you stupid idiot Adam said to Allah Allah when you created me and blew into my spirit I lifted up my head up and it was written on the arsh in the chair La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, written in Arabic, and Adam he speak Arabic by birth. It turned to be that the first one who was made in this in, in this universe, it was an Arab guy. I thought at that time there's no Arabic language. No, brother, Arabic is the first language in the world. Adam he speak Arabic. Yep, yeah. everybody speak Arabic at that time. Let us ask like a Christian prince. First of all. I'm very busy and I am now in the bathroom. Zakir Naik, I know why you are in the bathroom. I mean, all this story is a shitty story. Prince and Prince, respect yourself. Zakir Naik, let us be honest. Don't you have a diarrhea? And you are a doctor, that's the truth. Prince and Prince, I think I'm going to report you for the police because obviously you are spying at me. Eh? Why am I spying at you? How in the world do you know I have a diarrhea? Because this is caused diarrhea, don't you see? What the heck with you? It's very obvious. Anyone hear this, he will have diarrhea. Adam, he speak Arabic for the first day. He's not even finished yet. And then how, how high the chair of Allah, how he was able to see all the way there. I thought Allah chair is so high. How he can see it? Listen, friends. At that time, Adam used to have a telescope. He have what? Telescope. Tell what? Telescope, Christian friends. You are an ignorant. Third and Google telescope. Ah, I mean, tell phone. Prince Prince, I drive him crazy. I told you a telescope. Telescope is a piece of glass they put it together so you can see far. So how far we can see? I thought this is like the distance between the heaven, the first heaven, the second heaven. Prince Prince, you are ignorant. Adam was in heaven anyway. He was up in the heaven. But I thought Allah in the seventh heaven, not in the first one. Prince Prince, let me finish my bedroom and I will review you. Okay, take your time. Actually, you know what? Once in Pal Talk, maybe this is 10 years ago, there's a sheikh, a real sheikh. He was debating me and he said, excuse me, please. I need to go to the uh, restroom. Uh, I apologize, I have to. I said, sure, sure, you know. Uh, give me just five minutes. Until now, he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> so Christian did you learn how to answer the Muslims if they ask you about Saturday what is the answer how you hit how you hit him way it hurt huh where you what do you do you say you say Allah he deceived us and he made us not for a Saturday it's in front of you and then the Muslims he do not know what to say they, you know, right away they will start accusing Paul. And by the way, Paul did not even say don't follow Saturday or anything. You know, what, what, what the, the Christians, the Christian they met and they agree that the new convert to Christians, who they are not Jews, they are not under the covenant. And this is in the Bible. Because simply they are not Jews. So there is a covenant was given to the Jews. And those who they are not Jews, nowhere God, he says to them, do this and do that. So the one who believe in the Messiah, this is what saved him, is not Sabbath. And Messiah himself, he said, Sabbath made for the man, not the man made for Sabbath. So when they lie, they say, they blame everything for Paul. And by the way, if we go and search, we will find that the Quran say clearly that there is a great messenger he is the most powerful sent by Jesus. Who is that? That is Paul. And we will find tons of interpretation. 
And you remember this guy, he said, why you don't read the interpretation? The second we showed him in the interpretation that Paul is in the interpretation as the messenger of Allah, he will say we don't accept the interpretation. <laughs> if you go and read Ibn Kathir or al baghawi or any, read the chapter 36, verse number 14 interpretation. You will see those are three messengers of Jesus. And here you ask yourself, if Jesus is just a messenger, how he can make people messengers and they can do miracles? And here it says, when we send to them two messengers, they build them both. So we reinforce them with the third. Where is the guy who asked me about the Trinity? <laughs> One messenger cannot do, two messengers cannot do, three can do. <laughs> And then we check, we will find that those messengers is Bulos. This is how the Muslim they say it in Arabic. And uh, John and, uh, uh, and Simon Peter. <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, all your laundry is here. <laughs> all your laundry is here with no mercy. Uh, okay. Uh, a Houston Imam you debated a couple of days ago called Mujahid. Uh, it's called Kenny Bomber. Who is the Houston Imam I called? I debated three days ago. I don't remember. He's an Imam? I have no idea who's guy. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any brave Abdul? I'm not going to keep you long, guys. I will keep it short. Tomorrow, we are going to be live here. And tomorrow, we will take calls only from Christians. And we will make it, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like, let us say, a friendly talk. Uh, people, they have uh, questions. And uh, the topic still will be about Islam. If you have a question, or if you want to share anything about something, you know, just don't uh, give me something private about you. Just to give people to breathe and to take a break from the garbage of Muhammad. Uh, please download the video after we finish. As you know, I don't keep my videos there. And if you don't mind, tell your friends that we are live in the Arabian Prophet account because there's many people now do not know uh, that we are not going there for a reason, you know. Uh, so just share with your friends, share the link so they can join us. Check his debate with David Wood. I don't like to watch David Wood debate because David Wood don't debate and he do not know how to debate. I say that, you can say it to him. And I, if he ever speak to me, I will tell him. He do not know how to debate. Until now, David Wood, sadly, he did not learn that Muslims don't debate. You have to corner them. You have to get them busted. Uh, and uh, I don't know. David Wood, he liked to make Muslims famous in a good way, you know. I don't like really. He is good in uh, videos, but I don't want to watch his debate. For me, his debate is a waste of time. It's not a debate. It's two people doing monologue. The Muslim, he lie as much he want. There's no fact check. You see, a debate, you have to do fact check. The second Abdul, he says something, stop him. Host, hold on. You say this, let us check. At uh, five minutes, keep talking, say whatever you want, and then I take the microphone, and then I say, well, check the facts. Otherwise, this is not a debate. This is a comedy. If you notice when I speak to a Muslim, I repeat the question 1,000 times. Did you ask yourself why? Because the Muslim, he is trying his best to escape the fact check processing. He don't want to answer because this is embarrassment. He can say something. And if I allow him to change right away, not to fact check, you know, check, he got away with it. And this is exactly what they want. And, and David would sadly, until now he did not learn that this is just the game. There's no point of this debate. You are just making Muslim famous. You have 600,000 subscribers. Christian watch them, Muslim watch them, they will subscribe to him. That's all. That's why Muslims are lying to his channel so they can get more subscribers because there's no debate. 
There's a menalog. Abdul, he says something. Stop. Prove it. He want to continue? Don't agree. Every time I speak to a Muslim, you can watch all my videos. I have to repeat the question a thousand times. And you will see some silly Christians, they say to me, Did the guy talk? Why are you interrupting him? Sometimes you do not know what to say to those Christians. They are naive. They know that we are dealing with the devil. And the devil trying to escape. This is my business. If you don't like it, the way I do it, leave. Not, don't come here. And this is why those Muhammadan don't dare to call me. Because anything they say to me, anything, even assalamu alaikum is a problem. Inshallah is a problem. The Mimi Hijab, he never say inshallah. What kind of a Muslim he never say inshallah? Some Christian, they say, what a big deal is that? You, you, you have no idea how big deal is that for Muslims. A Muslim who don't say inshallah for something he want to do, he will never, this is from the devil, he will never receive a blessing for Allah. We know their garbage, we know their laundry. So don't think we are questioning for no reason. Even a Muslim, if you don't have, if if you don't make a prayer and say Inshallah before he have intersect inter intercourse with his wife, Shaitan would do his wife. Uh, what about ex-Muslim and other religion? Well, ex-Muslim, if he is a Christian, he is welcome. We will make this day for Christians. I mean, that's simple. I mean, we give all of the week for Muslim for. Muslim. You know? Uh, no, no, no. This is nothing, nothing to do with lawyers. What does this have to do with lawyer? Who told you I'm a lawyer? I have degrees in law. I'm not a lawyer. This is have nothing to do with lawyer. This is have to do with fact check. When we are debating, what we are doing? Debating. We are not having coffee. We are not eating salad. We are debating. So when somebody says something, if you cannot listen carefully and force him to prove what he just said, that means you are a fool and you have a failure in your debate. Because now he can say all kinds of lies. And then those lies will fly with the wind because nobody got them busted. They were received by the ears of Muslims and Christians, which means you are allowing the person to fool the audience, including your audience. It's a shame. What does this have to do with lawyers? Are we in the court now? It's a debate. Learn, learn. Even in normal argument inside your family, somebody said something, tell him, what are you talking about? Prove it. Unless it's true, then you shut up. Like yesterday, we have this uh, guy, you know, ultimate uh, potato. We don't follow the hadith. Well, you, you have you have to be smarter and you have to find a way to get them busted. He just said, I don't follow the hadith. So what you can do about it? Then you have to trick him. He's trying to be smart, so he avoid all the embarrassment in the books of the hadith. So he said, those who follow the hadith, they are donkeys, they are potatoes, they are dogs, they are blah, blah, blah. Then I ask him, okay, well, who is Aisha? He said, she's the wife of the Prophet. Who is Khadija? She's the wife of the Prophet. You can watch it and die laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to be strong. You have to learn how to, to be firm. Otherwise, you are just wasting time of the Christians and even the Muslims. The Muslims, they support each other. And it doesn't matter if you are lying or not. This is an evil religion. But the Christians is the problem here. Because a Christian person who claims that he is debating Muslims and he don't get them busted, the Christian, even they will feel bad. Because they did not receive really a good answers from this guy who claimed to be Christian. Or he is a Christian for sure. Depends who is he. 
uh, but he could not really give us satisfying answers. So if, if the, the debate did not work for the direction you want to, to be working for, that's mean you are not fit for a debate. And as you see, we open our microphone for the Muslim to call. How many of them there? They don't dare. Look at them. If this is a program run by somebody, he have no idea. They will be calling nonstop. Um, yeah, you know, the Jews, they used to say to Muhammad this, but how you know that this is what they say to him? This is a, this is, can be a big fat lie. You see? The Jews, they used to say to Muhammad, the question is, first of all, Assalamu alaikum, why Muhammad, he hijacked the Jews and he took it from the, this is a Jewish greeting. And this is a Christian greeting. When the angel came to Mary, he said to her, Shalom to you, Mary. Correct? Plus you are between the women. Okay, wonderful. When the angel came to Muhammad first time, did the angel say to Muhammad, Shalom to you, Muhammad? No. How come? And remember, this is the first time Muhammad meet the angel. This is the first time. So why the angel, when he come to everybody except Muhammad, he say peace? Because this is the angel of God. Shalom. But this is obviously Satan. Why he did not say shalom to you, Muhammad? Any Muslim can answer it? The first word he said to him, read, which doesn't make sense anyway. I mean, this is even an idiot request. Imagine somebody come to my door and he entered the room and he said to me, read. And he doesn't even have a book in his hand. What the silly, stupid idiot. And then he starts squeezing the guy. No, Islam is not a Christianity 2.0. Islam is a collection of religion. This is this is a false man. He is trying. In the beginning, he wanted to have himself as an Arab for the or a prophet for the Arab. This is why it says in the Quran, Allah He sent him to Mecca and what is around it. Very simple. But then his dream get bigger. In chapter six, verse number. 92 it says it clearly and this is a book which is stupid because Allah did not give Muhammad a book we have sent down bringing a blessing and confirming the revelation uh, 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 which is between his hand you see here that the lie in translation it doesn't say which came before it it says what is between their, his, his hand and though mayst warn the mother of the cities and around it the mother of the cities, actually not cities, Qura, is town, a small village. This is Mecca. And what is around it? So in the, in the beginning, Muhammad, the dream was small. And he it came to the Arab. And even the Quran says that Allah, he never sent the messenger except Chapter 14, verse number 4. We send not a messenger except between two bracket to teach in the language of his own people in order to make things clear to them. So Allah will never send a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So how Muhammad became a prophet for Pakistan? The Quran is so clear. He had to be from the people speaking in the tongue of the people. So in order to what? In order to make it clear to them. So if we send the book in different language, that doesn't work. Who said that? Muhammad himself. Any Muhammadan?
Muhammad is an evil man. He, you know, he is deceiving. Uh, you know, I can confirm that Muhammad obviously is satanic because all his ideas is satanic. You know, who is the one who want to make God look bad by making him a pimp? How bad you can make God more than this? Pimp. If a man, he came to you and he says to you, follow me and I will give you 70 women to F. Isn't it this is a pimp? Even the Quran legalized legally prostitution. Somebody saying how many Muhammad killed? Nobody knows. Remember, all what we have is what Muslims they wrote for us. And what Muslims wrote for us? Obviously, Muhammad he conquered all the Arabian Peninsula. So anyone who opposed him is dead. Hundreds of thousands of people. All right. Tomorrow morning we will be live again if you like to join us and we will have like a coffee conversation. We will see what we will call the, the, the video. And until I see you again soon, please invite your friends, tell them. And those who want to copy the video, you can catch the part where we are getting the Abdul busted about why, how to answer Muslims, why Christians don't follow Sunday. Let the Christian learn. The answer is very simple. Remember that Allah, he deceived the Christians. Allah, and that will hurt the Muslim badly. Allah, he deceived the Christians. If he say to you, why you don't follow Saturday when your God told you, he says to him, well, you know what? Your God, he deceived us, he's Satan. He deceived us. He sent us astray from 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 from, uh, from uh, the right day, and he made the Christians follow Sunday and the Jews follow Saturday. It was Allah, as you see, and then the Muslims they will have the area in the speed of light. So, are we going to remember this? Let us see how many of you will remember it when you answer the Abdul. And you know the whole uh, purpose of what we do here is to teach you how. Uh, to refute this stupid cult. This is a very, very, very stupid cult. It's very easy to defeat. But they play or they pray. They pray on the ignorant. They pray on the ignorant. And the world is full of ignorant. And as you see, we hardly can, we can go live. You see, you will not see any Muslim channel is taken down by YouTube. They have advertising, they have donation, they have everything. For us, we can't even keep a video for a few days. And what we are doing? It's against the guideline of YouTube to speak against the faith in Muhammad. The devil is siding with Islam. And this is the truth. I will make accounts in different for platforms so I can post and actually I might even use Gmail or G Drive to post videos you guys download it and you share them what we can do the devil but the devil will never stop us and actually if YouTube like took my channels all of them whatever you know I can take a break and write a book because I'm thinking about writing a book will harm Muhammad so bad will make his ass red for centuries to come and when I die, my books will stay for maybe a thousand years to come. A Muslim saying to me, you lie too much. I am I'm assuming that this is ultimate fault. <laughs> you guys, you want to have fun with ultimate fault? Because the only customers we have, you know, ultimate fault since he was spanked badly, he will kill because he trying to retain his owner. His owner is scattered all over the floor. <laughs> oh, they call decline. This is not ultimate fault. You lay too much. You lay too much. And then I call him the call declined. What a potato. Let me block you. You lay too much, okay? I'm showing you the hate in front of you, you donkey. So what? Okay, prophet, he lied too.
Oh boy. Mayday, mayday. This is how we do it. Sit down, sit down. Act differently. If you did not watch how Ultimate Fart, and you know, a funny Ultimate Fart, he called me, he says, why you deleted the video? Like the guy, he think he have victory. Abdul, I don't keep my videos. Okay, okay, you know what, this time, we can say the same as yesterday. At this time, I'll promise you, I will not delete it, but just uh, promise me you will not use bad language. Not even five minutes after we start, he starts saying the effort. Really? Like he's a prophet. And it was, it was a disaster. And now let us see how many people will be laughing at him. All right, guys, I think it's time to go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share your friends in Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. Let us, let us work together as a team, because obviously you guys are lazy. Uh, for there's no way people do not know that I am here if you guys are doing some work. Obviously, nobody, nobody cares. But anyway, I care. I care for the work I do, even if there's one person is listening. I want to say thank you. And tomorrow we will be live on air. I will set up the, the program for tomorrow right now. So after a few minutes, you can refresh and you will see it. And you can join us tomorrow in the morning, New York time, 10.30 a.m. All right? Until I see you, God is good. Christ is Lord. And Islam without lies dies. And it's dead already. Thank you.